Hi, I'm Brandon Sackman. Welcome to Mondays with the Mayor. Over the next couple of years, we're gonna spend some time with city departments, take a look at what they do and how they help you, the taxpayer, interview community leaders, visit small businesses, and most importantly, sell Teradice. Thank you for tuning in. Be sure to check out our next show in two weeks for another edition of Mondays with the Mayor. Thank you and God bless. I'm Mayor Brandon. It's here today with Brian Conti, our street commissioner. We're just going to have a conversation about, you know, what folks can expect when we have a snow day, uh, what's kind of a day in the life of a street department employee for the city of Terre Haute, and what are some upcoming changes that we're going to see within this department. So I'll start with you, Brian. Tell us kind of where you're at, where you're from, and, and, you know, give us your background. Hey, yeah, my name is Brian Conti. I'm from Terre Haute, Indiana, born and raised here. Um, I worked on a job previously for six years in the signal department, so I know a little bit about this uh, organization here. Um, I was blessed to be given this opportunity. Uh, it's like a never-ending dream, so I'm really blessed to be in the position that I have right now. So you said signal department. How many departments are there in the street department? Well, right now we have the signal, uh, we have the pothole buggy, we have a chipper group. Uh, I, th I would say there's probably about five or six. Five or six. So signal, that's that's our traffic lights, yes, right? Yes. Okay, and then in the city of Terre Haute, we have some traffic lights that NDOT manages and some that the city has, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. So this signal crew then focuses on the Terre Haute um, traffic signals and not the ones that NDOT manages or the county. So those are probably like Third Street, some yeah. of the bigger roads. Yeah, we do have a contract with the county. So we work their signals on Park Avenue uh, and on Spring Hill. So those are the county. Our area stops on First Street and uh, 3rd Street and 46. Awesome, awesome. How many total employees do we have in our street? Department? Right now, as of last week, we have 31 employees. I'm in the process of hiring five to six new people. Perfect, and then we'll stay within our budget, get five five new team members, and, and then we'll operate on, on all cylinders. Uh, just say I'm a taxpayer for a second, not, not the mayor, and tell me kind of what the street department does in the fall, in the spring, in the summer, and in the winter. Well, the fall time is our biggest time of the year, uh, as far as people can see, like us out getting leaves. I mean, there's an uh, abundance amount of trees here in Terre Haute. So the leaf season is our biggest and busiest time of year. Uh, and then we go to the, the, the winter, where we do all the snow plowing and stuff like that. Um, and then in the summer, we generally just go around, pick up sticks, cut grass, you know, just do the beautification of Terre Haute. Good, good. And that's something you're going to see a lot of changes here in Terre Haute, Indiana. Already, Brian and I are working to partner with Republic as well as Vigo County Solid Waste Management. We're going to bring another recycling opportunity to the citizens of Terre Haute and another e-waste opportunity as well. We're going to have some bins located here at the street department for residents to drop off their, their TVs, right? That's e-waste, kind of those TVs, those bigger mm -hmm. items, as well as recycling. Uh, kind of currently now, we're pretty limited. Folks got to drive up to North Terre Haute, and that's a little bit of a longer drive for yes. some, so we're going to have a second location here, and then we'll work to find a third location with the county as well. Do you know about when that stuff's coming in here? In a couple of weeks, right? Yeah, a couple of weeks. Uh, I'm meeting with the county this week to get a location here on our yard to, to put those bins at, so I think it's for the next couple of weeks. Good, good. So a lot of good changes coming to the street department. Uh, going to be fully staffed this year. We've made it through some pretty bad snows. Um, can you just kind of walk us through through, you know, how it happens. So, you know, the snow starts falling, so what happens next? Generally what we do, we work close with the Terrell Police Department. They go out on their normal routes, and then if they feel that the bridges are getting slippery or any danger hazardous there, they get a hold of the dispatch. Our dispatch calls uh, our emergency man. Uh, our emergency man then calls a foreman in charge, and then if he, he goes out and, and determines if we need an A or B group, but if not, we have a on-call list of like nine to ten people mm -hmm. and then we deal with them if we need to go any further need more people then we go on an a and b shift good good and then you know i know um uh, about two weeks ago and even last week we saw the writing on the wall mm -hmm. and you guys went out and put salt sand in a solution earlier what's in that solution well what we do it's it's uh brine brine generally what we put out uh, beforehand to keep the bridge and stuff from being slippery so uh, that's what we do on that on that part. Good, good. How many total snow trucks do we have here at the city of Terre Haute? We use nine. We have probably 10 to 12, but nine are in service at this point. 
Good, good. Well, let's go out. Let's check out some of the trucks, see some of the equipment that the street department uses. Uh, kind of get in touch a little bit more with the department and, and see where we're going to go in the next four years. Oh, sounds good. All right, I'm here today with Orville. Orville, can you go ahead, before we begin, tell us how long you've been with the street department. Well, I've been with the street department thir almost 40 years. 40 years? Pretty close, yes. Wow, and so you've been a member of local laborers that entire time as well? Yes, yes. Good, local good. 204, yes. Local 204, one of our best local labor organizations. Orville, I'm happy that you're here today. Please explain this to me because I drive an automatic, right? I'm not a big car guy. What in the world am I looking at right here? What is this? Well, you're looking at a, a uh, international single axle truck with a snow plow on the front of it. It, pl it plows, you can turn it either direction, you know, to plow or whatever your situation is. Plus, this truck here, it has a, like a chain inside there to auger the sand onto a spinner in the back. And then you have controls inside to set where how wide you can throw your salt and sand, your material. And the material, like I said, it it stays basically stays behind the truck. You know, if you throw it too wide, then you're throwing it in, into people's cars. So I think a lot of people think that we have shovels and we're just out there shoveling. But as you can see, look at the, the width and the depth of, of this snow pile. So you said it's multi-angled. What does that mean? That means that means when you, you, you lift it up, you can turn it to throw the throw the the snow off to the side where you got it angled to the right, All right. Or to the left. So if I'm driving down, I can shoot it on the right or I can shoot it on the left. Yes, but most of the time you shoot it to the right because if you shoot it to the left, you're throwing it into the other the other the other lane. The other lane. Well, sounds good. We're going to check out the back end and that, that brine area, and then we'll let you go and get on for the night. So, Orville, this is where that salt sand mixture comes out, and you were telling me you ch you adjust this width so it doesn't get too far out. How does that kind of work? Well, on the adjustment, I was on the the inside of the truck. you got knobs. It's mm -hmm. one through nine, I think it is, on this truck, and you adjust it to your your auger, how fast your auger goes, on your material when it falls down on, onto the to the uh, uh, spinner to try to stay in behind the truck. And this chain, like I said, that's what brings the material down and it drops through this chute down onto the spinner and that's how you make your spread. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much for showing us here. This is, uh, I call it the beast, right? Because you, you're getting two for one. You're getting salt <laughs> to brine. You're yep. getting the snow ply. So thank you so much. We'll work for 40 years of service to this city. Well, and I'll thank let you, you carry Brandon. on. Yeah, huh. Thank, thank you, you. So I'm here now with Steve Wilhelm, and we are looking at, it, correct me if I'm wrong, a boom truck? Yeah, it's a bucket truck. Bucket truck. Okay. So what is this? What do we got going on here? Uh, this is used, actually it was originally a line truck like they used to fix power lines. We use it to trim trees. Uh, we use it to do various things. Uh, a lot of times we use it for stoplights. We use it for changing the cables that hold the stoplights up. We use it for changing signs. We use it for a lot of things. So it's a multi-purpose then kind of bucket truck. Are you, are you the driver or are you the guy in the, in the back there riding up and down? I used to be the driver and the operator of it. I have since uh, switched to a different position and then somebody else has taken this over. But basically the driver is the operator. Mm -hmm. You will have somebody ride with you to be on the ground to spot for things that are in the way or things that fall. In case something happens, you got to have somebody to, to yeah. save you. What are our uh, what are our busiest months then for, for tree those tree limbs? I know you mentioned we use this for trees sometimes. Any time of the year. Any time. You never know when the tree's going to fall down. You never know when the wind's going to blow. Good. You don't know when, when trucks are going to hit something, cars are going to hit something. Any time. Good, good. Well, I can't thank you enough for, for taking some time with us today. Um, I don't have my CDL, so I'm not hopping in this one <laughs> just yet. I'll, I'll have to take the test for that. But maybe in the summer we'll hop in and we'll, we'll cut a, a limb down or two. All but right. Thank you so much for the time and best of luck today. Thank you.